so I split my chin back in October. All right, let's talk about that. It was a hot Saturday in October of 2020, and we were cleaning because... For some reason. Anyway, my dad had just finished mopping the floor, and I was cleaning the bathroom. My mom had said something, I can't remember what, but I had stepped out of the bathroom to respond to what she had said, and... Well... I had fallen and split my chin, causing me to bleed. But somehow my adrenaline gave me the energy to crawl into my brother's room and lay on the carpeted floor. While my mom was coming to see what had happened to me, I was thinking, it, it was my time to go. My life was flashing before my eyes. It was my time. Well, obviously, no, it wasn't. But anyway, my mom came and grabbed a pair of my brother's dirty shorts and held it against my chin and started yelling for my dad. But of course, that was the day my dad decided to put on his new noise-canceling headphones. So my mom went over to get my dad, leaving my half-dead body. She came back with my dad and a towel. She pushed the towel against my chin instead of my brother's disgusting shorts. After a while, I was feeling a tiny bit better, so my mom walked me to our front door and went to get dressed because she was in her pajamas. So off to the hospital we go. We got there and waited in the waiting room for a little bit, and that would be fine. But they were playing one of those cheesy soap operas on one of the TVs. Didn't make me feel any better. Anyway, they called my name, and they did the normal stuff, like check my weight and height. Then they put me in a room. Me and my mom waited in that room for like five hours. And look, I get it. We're in the middle of a pandemic. All I have is a split chin. They probably have kids who come in every week with a split chin. Kid crying? Yeah, he split his chin. That's the second time this week! Anyway, they checked in on us now and again, gave me drugs and stuff. Then, after numbing my chin, they came in and gave me stitches. Finally, after waiting just a tiny bit more, we left. All was set. Nope, just kidding, there's more. So with the force of the fall, a tooth became loose and two teeth were chipped. So we had to go to the orthodontist and the dentist for that. Also, my jaw was really hurt for a week afterwards, meaning I only ate soft foods like pudding, applesauce, and soup. So that's the story that I call The Chincident. So, a uh, little bit I would like to add is that my mom was scared that I would be infected because she used my brother's dirty shorts to push against my chin. So yeah, I think it's time I address the elephant in the room. I have been gone for four months. I'm so sorry. I was really busy with school and all that jazz, so I didn't ho really have a whole lot of time to actually work on videos, but I'm hoping I get my upload schedule in control soon because I'm working on what I think is going to be a one hour video. It's going to be pretty exciting. And, uh, if you do want some more Ultra content, you can go to my Scratch account. Yes, I, you heard me right, Scratch account. If you don't know what Scratch is, look it up, because I don't have enough time to actually talk about it here. But anyway, overneedo 9 x is my Scratch account, where I upload little short animations and other things. And if you want some more Ultra content in your life, you can go there. Um, so, and, uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna put the link in the description, and uh, I hope you like this video, like if you did, and if this is content you want to see more of for some reason, then consider subscribing. Anyway, have a great day, and goodbye!